The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Wow, I'm blown away the second time. <sighs> totally. Oh, my God, I got the tingles during that guitar solo. That was so good. That is world premiere Pearl Jam, Dark Matter, with Brian and Kenzie here on Q101. Kara Caribou filling in for Kenzie here on her maternity leave. And she's glad because yeah. she's a huge Pearl Jam fan. Oh. And you said that's your now your number one. Favorite song from Pearl Jam. I can't wait to see them do that live. Kara uh, held up a lighter in here for an encore. <laughs> I did. And she's pulling it out again. We're not going to do it three oh, times. Okay, damn it. Here's what we'll do. Uh, at 10 a.m. and then every hour after that, um, Lauren's show will start at that with the song again. And then every hour you'll get it. So if you just caught the end of it, Dark Matter. Produced by Andrew Watt, who played guitar, I saw at the Auditorium Theater with Eddie Vedder solo, and he's also a producer who's done everybody from, like, Justin Bieber to Ozzy Osbourne. Like, the guy's a gifted... That's a big variety. Gifted musician yeah. and also producer. And then also those Pearl Jam shows at United Center were... It's weird. Like, again, I've seen Pearl Jam, I don't know how many times at this point, but it felt like it was the best show I'd seen him do. I feel like every time I go see Pearl Jam, it's the best show I've seen I them know. do. <laughs> you kind of walk away. Yeah. We can just say that today's a special day with that song. And, uh, yeah, some uh, concert dates may leak through. Oh, yeah, say, say so. So just stay on Q101 all day. We will keep you updated. I can't say anything more on the matter. The Q101 Morning Crew. Sports. All right, so the Bulls won last night over the Hawks, 136-126. Morgan Park and University of Illinois alum, Ayu Desumnu, had a career high, 29 points, 7 assists. Great to see our local guys doing well in the pros. For sure. I, I secretly d- never want the Bulls to win the home. <laughs> what? <laughs> because if they make it to the playoffs, I my masseuse is their masseuse that goes on the road with them. So the longer he's gone, the less I can see him. What? So the sooner the season ends, <laughs> the better my back feels. That is selfish as hell. <laughs> I've never even... And by the way, you have a masseuse? Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes. I don't, don't go every week, but... Is he's, it a he's woman good. or a man? It's a man. He's um, really good. Oh, I bet he is. Yeah. Can, I get his, can I get his number? <laughs> yeah. His name's Bernardo. Bernardo. Yes. Bernardo That's, the masseuse. That's yes. not a name. Bernardo's not a name. <laughs> <laughs> he's just made up a name to yeah. cover his identity. Bernard is a name. Fernando's a name. Bernardo is not a name. <laughs> Sounds like he's a Bernardo. Yeah. <laughs> he rubs Io Desunu's calves yes. and Kara's and back. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, listen. You don't got to worry about it too much because they don't win that often. But they're doing actually on a nice little run here, the Bulls are. They're going to make the playoffs at this point. And uh, the Bulls are at the Cavs tonight before the All-Star break. First time in 43 years that the Bulls don't have someone represented on All-Star weekend. I, mean, I don't know if Bernardo can help that problem. <laughs> I don't know. He's got to rub harder. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I told him. <laughs> Very good. So the Super Bowl halftime show, by the way, a record number of people, I figured 123 million people watched the Super Bowl. And also the halftime show, where a lot of you watched it with Usher performed. It was, it was a great show. I mean, it wasn't the best ever. You will not have to get in that argument, but it was really good. Alicia Keys was incredible. And she performed live, and her voice cracked at one line. And for some reason, the internet said that was bad. And here's what it sounded like. Now, I'll stop it, because I'll tell you what the NFL did about it. Some people. So you heard that little crack in the beginning, which you almost can't even tell. Is some people? I mean, only because you're pointing it out. I didn't. I didn't watch it. Go. Oh, she cracked her voice. Right. Like, well, yeah. the, well, the NFL decided to change that in the YouTube version of it and fix it. Here's what it sounds like now. Some people want it all. What a bunch of a holes. Yeah. Seriously. It sounds muddy. It sounded better. I mean, the, other way. the girl sang and with such passion. And you know what? Everybody complains. They're all lip syncing out there. Well, she wasn't, and she made it. A passionate move there. Some people want it all. And then they change it to this. Some people want it all. Leave Alicia alone. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it like it was. It was great. Great. Okay. Uh, you want free wings? Well, Buffalo Wild Wings said if the game goes to overtime, you get free wings. So Rark, put this date on your phone. Monday, February 26th. So that's a week from Monday. Coming up from 2 to 5 p.m. Pretty tight window. <laughs> yeah. Two weeks to load up on the wings, but you only have three hours? I'm not looking a gift horse in the mouth or judging because they're giving away some free wings. Six wings everybody can get when you go in there. There's some rules, and so make sure you go to their website and follow it, Buffalo Wild Wings. Everybody play with the rules here. I guess apparently they're waiting that long. 
Because they have to stock up on wings? I would yeah. think so. I would th- but only for three hours. I mean, how many wings do you need? Yeah. But you go in there, you get the free wings, and then you sit down and you go, well, while I'm here, I'll take another 20. Right. Of course. Of course. It's a brilliant yeah. idea. I, I will be there. Give me some uh, cheese fries. Give me those two. Well, the, the, it's funny you say that. The thing of Buffalo Wild Wings is obviously they have the wings, but they're cheese curds. Mm. Phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, give Culver's a run for their money good. Careful. I'm, I said what I said. Okay. I said what I said. <laughs> I got to be honest. I haven't had Buffalo Wild Wings in a long time, and we, I used to we, live we there. Go. We should go. We should do that. You, we used to live there? You used to live at a Buffalo Wild Wings? Well, <laughs> <laughs> what? There used to be, which if you remember, they were called BW3 yes. back in the day. Yeah. And on Lincoln, north of Fullerton, there was one that was a bar. It just happened to be a BW3 as well. It was weird because it didn't look like the typical ones out there, so it was a neighborhood bar that happened to have be a uh, uh, Buffalo that Wild Wings. perfect. Buffalo Wild Wings and Weck was what, was what the third W I was. I always wondered what the third W was. Thank you for saying that. Yes. Well, Weck is a meat and like a meat sandwich. Um, so that's what Weck is. I've okay. never heard of that. You really? just made that up. I did not make that up. Oh. You got a Google machine in front of you. You take a look at it. <laughs> trust me. If, if I was going to trust Brian on anything, it would be Weck and BW3s. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got. So look at those wings. Uh, it is funny in the article. It says nothing has been said about the date being 15 days after the game, which is again they had to stock up on some wings, I guess. Uh, also, we're going to pour one out today, as we pour one out for a lot of buildings around Chicago land. As you guys checked in with that, uh, Mitch Trubisky, he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> he just got cut from the Steelers. They said it was kind of an amicable parting. Does anybody ever leave somebody happy? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that happen, Kara? Divorce. Oh, got it. <laughs> the Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. So, Brian and Kenzie here on Q101. We just world premiered that Pearl Jam. We played it twice because it's so damn good. Oh, I love it. So good. And it's called Dark Matter. We'll have it again at 10 a.m., and every hour after, Dougie Styles filling in for Lauren this week. But also, we'll have a major announcement coming up at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Make sure you're here for it. Now, Valentine's Day tomorrow? Kind of forgot almost. I, you did forget. Yeah. Kara, just so you know, Brian and I get here very <laughs> early in the morning. Yes. And I look forward to it because it's a time for Brian and I to catch up, talk about his kid, talk about <laughs> my love life, <laughs> talk about bands. A lot. We, we do a big catch up at 5 in the morning every day. We're sitting there putting the show together on Friday. This was last Friday. And Brian goes, huh, Valentine's Day is this Wednesday, isn't it? I go, yeah, big guy. He's like, interesting. (laughs) (laughs) That's all I thought about for the moment. But there's something going on about tomorrow that if you want your Valentine's Day to be successful, you have to know this information. And it's not great news, okay? Uh So what you have to do for Valentine's Day to be successful is... Figure out a ride Mm. if you don't have that figured out because the Uber and Lyft drivers, and we have a lot of them that listen, so they can check in about this if they'd like to and explain it better, but Uber, Lyft, DoorDash 2. DoorDash 2. Now I'm worried. The drivers, (laughs) (laughs) uh, they're going to plan a strike tomorrow on Valentine's Day for fair pay. Picking a great day when people probably use them the most, one of them anyway, besides like a, a New Year's Eve or a day before Thanksgiving. Thousands of drivers from the platforms Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash are expected to go on strike across the U.S. and Chicago for Valentine's Day for fair pay. Drivers groups said on Monday they said this. Now, this is a a statement from Lyft. We are constantly working to improve the driver experience. They have their quarterly reports come out today. Oh. So you see that if you watch, you know, I don't know, stock market stuff or whatever. Um, But it's the biggest strike I've ever seen according to a reporter and one of the drivers actually it's going to be nationwide and oh. so i don't know if it's everybody because they're freelancers yeah. yeah so groups can choose the team together and strike right and their drivers have constantly fought for what they feel is a better employment system where they're actually employees of the company yeah. so more power to them i was once a lift driver actually yeah yeah is that right yeah it's i liked it because i wasn't an employee though i could just get up i have insomnia a lot so i'd get up at three in the morning and just make money <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's the grind set. It's like doing the Wolf of Wall Street over yeah. here. Yeah, I could, like I said, I've heard that from other people I know right. that dro- drove as well. So there must be some people that want one way and some people right. want another way. I think it's different now, though. I think gas is more expensive and there's more cost than when I did it because I did it about ten years ago. Mm. They also say in a statement that they are accusing the platforms of t- disproportionately higher amounts of commission. 
Oh. Take, taking the money that you would take home, I guess. Yeah. Because yeah. I knew someone that did it back in the day, too, and they were making hundred grand a year. Mm-hmm. If you hustle and drive to the airport runs right. like at 4 in the morning, yeah. you can make a lot of money. I just didn't like having drunk people in my car. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. <laughs> you, know? you didn't like having That's Brian why I stopped. in your car. Yeah. I did it at 9 in the morning once. I'm like, okay, I won't get any drunk people. Nope, every single one. Are you serious? And it was on election day because it was a surge. That's why I did I'm like, oh, there's a surge. I'll go get some... <laughs> Hey, man, I voted. Let's party. <laughs> shot, 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 shot. Hey, I, listen, anything that gets you to go out and vote, if you celebrate afterward like that and, and, and then call a safe way to get home, I'm fine with yeah. it. That's amazing. Why, why'd you stop doing it? Just got tired of it? Because I didn't want drunk people in the backseat of my car. It was I, consistently that? Yeah, after literally that day, I'm like, okay, I just had three fares in a row. Everyone's drunk. I'm done. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody ever throw up? No, but I was afraid that would happen. Yeah. So. They were like, hey, you're cute. You're divorced, yeah. right? Oh, God. <laughs> That's what they leave with? <laughs> hey, was this a carrot with a K or a C? Or... <laughs> uh, you want to go vote again somewhere yeah. later? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you're having Valentine's Day, listen, a lot of people plan on using those services because you do want to enjoy drinks with your person. Yeah. And then door dash, dash for, like, maybe a, a, a ride home. I can't say it's everybody in your area, but it's certainly... The biggest one they're saying the drivers of all time around the country. Yes, I, so I would avoid it if uh, if you can. That kind of stinks because I was planning that with Megan. Where you were going to what get hammered and not be able to drive home? In the afternoon because we got to pick up Harper later. I'm not going to get hammered, but just a drink or two, you know. Okay. Yeah. I can have a drink or two. I, don't, I agree. You're I don't a grown know. man. You can do what you want. I don't know. I'm saying I don't have to have 10. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I think that's not true. <laughs> yeah, that is not true. <laughs> a little tough. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, just be aware of that. If you have a plan that involves all that, Uber, Lyft, or DoorDash, uh, strike happening. And uh, it might affect your area, might not. But our drivers out there, you can check in. And uh, we want to get what you want to get. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. And a huge announcement coming up here at 10 a.m., about 15 minutes away. In fact, we're going to stay on. Until 10, with Dougie Styles, who's filling in for Lauren to make that announcement with him. And he's also going to play some Pearl Jam that we played at 9 o'clock, new Pearl Jam. Do you guys have to call Union first to clear that? Uh, to stick around a little bit longer? Do you have to call after? Or is that... I won't be making that call. Um, <laughs> I am a salaried employee. I don't think that's overtime coverage there. But uh, we'll see. I, I sometimes fill out a time card, though, just for extra paper here and there. Uh, so that's huge. Uh, be here. I, I see a text coming through. Any hints? I have to get to work at 10 a.m. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't break that rule. She can stream us when you get into work on your office computer. Yeah. Absolutely. You can always do that. Yeah. yeah. It's on your com. phone while you're walking yep. in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anywhere you can hear us, it's very easy to find us there. So let's get the takeaways here real quick. Uh, take it away from the show. Case, what do you got? Lori texted in. She said her takeaway is that bag washers is a slur. Yeah. <laughs> If you want to know what that's about, well, in case we'll tell you in a second in the podcast. Uh, Kara Caribou filling in uh, yeah. for uh, Kenzie this week. And back Sa- tomorrow. Sorry, go ahead. Thank yeah. you. Uh, Sarah texted in to her takeaway. Punchkeys from the underground network of anti-establishment bakers are the best punchkeys. That's right. That is right. <laughs> and I'm so you said it very well, by yeah. the way. Punchkey, yes. It's not easy. My last name ends in a ski. I'm Dougie Style Ski. So, yeah. you know, hey, yeah, congrats. Oh, that was good. So where do you get the punchkeys in town then? You know, I actually don't eat them. Surprisingly, what? Yeah, I don't know, right? Like, I mean, I will. It's not that I don't go out. I don't go out of my way to get them. I though. don't believe that's your last name. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I, I, my dad right now just turned the radio off. He's very <laughs> born and bred Chicago Polish. He gets yeah. excited about the last name. I apologize, Dad. Uh, <laughs> uh, final takeaway from Bob from Double Features. My takeaway. Kara hopes the Bulls lose so she can keep Hansi Bernardo to herself. That's, wow. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all on the podcast. Uh, how can you find stuff on the podcast, Case? What's going on on it? The Brian and Kinsey podcast. It's available on Apple Podcasts. It's available on Spotify. It's available wherever you listen. We talked about bag washers and the <laughs> slur that that is this morning. Fascinating <laughs> conversation there. We got mad at Alyssa Milano and her rich kid. <laughs> That's at the 7 a.m. hour. <laughs> and then 8 a.m. last hour, we had a very emotional conversation about the fact that the Burger King on Irving Park and Clark has gone away. And it led to mm. a fascinating discussion on the local abandoned buildings that everybody seems to have. Yeah, please put those and, up on Facebook. Yes. And Brian, I actually heard that part this morning. I used to work at the Congress Theater, 
And yeah. you guys were all right about them zoning wise, how expensive yeah. it would be to open that back up. But the taco place that Case was very amused that you said they used to go get chips before concerts. Yes. Mm-hmm. El Cid. El Cid. Yes. That's it. Good job. I don't That's, think it's open anymore. It, it's moved. It's actually in a different spot in Logan it? Square because it's fantastic. Delicious. Oh, yes. oh the, my God. One of the best in yes. Chicago, hands that, down. That was the spot to stop before a show at Congress Theater. Mm-hmm. 100%. Wow. El Cid. Yes. Well, if anybody from El Cid is listening that works there, I'll be here till what am I here till three o'clock today? Please, yeah. <laughs> steak with does so, everybody cilantro. show for food um, around here? <laughs> yeah, whatever. A huge announcement ten minutes away at ten a.m. right here on Q one hundred and one. The Brian and Kenzie Show on Q one hundred and one.